Hello out there on YouTube and Facebook as well. Here's the team. I'm Smitty. I'm Ben. We're Steve French. We are Steve French. Here's the thing, guys. Just had a delightful Just, interview. Smitty, th there's one thing, one thing, that we got to address here first. What's the one thing? I mean, a lot of people have been wondering where we got our name Steve French from. That's the thing, guys. A lot of people looking at us like we've got three heads. Steve French. I only see two heads right here. That's the thing. We're going to let everybody know how we got the name Steve French right now. It's not what you think. It's <laughs> definitely not what you think. Here's the thing. We're at my place one time playing some tunes. Just jamming her. You know how I get when I jam her. I get right into her. Just like that. Yeah. Anyways, we knew we had something big here. I told Fluffy, I said, here's what we're going to do, buddy. We're going to create a band. One of the best bands in the world, you and me. And then we needed a name. We needed a name. Here's the thing. I said, Fluffy, I want you to take out the one thing that made you the person you are, or something you're really passionate about, something that shaped you as a whole, the whole time you were growing up. I'm going to do the same thing. Meet back here tomorrow night. We come up with the name for the band. So we got back here. Here's the thing. Myself, huge wrestling fan. Stone Cold Steve Austin, ass kicking machine, buddy. I, don't, I know wrestling's supposed to be fake, buddy, but I'm pretty sure he fed McMahon a few beats. I bet you it really... I, I think it really pushed you in the teeth, buddy. I think so. It really happened. I chose Steve Austin. Take her away, Grimace. I love french fries. French fries, yeah. There's nothing any better than ranked french fries. Seriously, french fries. Who on Prince Edward Island does not like ranked fries? I'll take care, buddy. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. So Connor and a pickle, he was too passionate to change his mind, like Steve Austin, French fries. I like fries. So here's the thing, guys. We could have went with Steve French, and we are Canadian. It kind of sounds like a good, cool Canadian name. It kind well, of is. The French part really doesn't set it off. That's the thing, we're Canadian. Or it could have been Austin Fries. Like okay, I say again, Austin Fries. Oh my God, who's opening up for Luke Bryan? Austin Fries. Not gonna fuck what happened, buddy. That doesn't have the same ring to it. Oh, okay, look, no, Steve Fresh rolls off his own. No. Now opening for Luke Bryan is. Steve French! Here's your thing, buddy. Being a superstar doesn't work out for you. You can always be an announcer. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> I know, right? That was good. Freaking sweet. Bigger and cheese. So that's the thing, guys. That's how we got the name Steve French. P E R Steve French. That's right. And, not to mention as many. That there are several great things about PEI. All kinds of great stuff for PEI, buddy. All kinds of great stuff. Tell them. What you think? PEI people are awesome, and we're going to run down the top five reasons why we think PEI people are awesome. And all you guys and PEI people living in other provinces, I want you to listen into this, guys, and let your friends know this, too. Share this video, guys. We know you're missing home. That's right. Here's the thing. Reason number five why PEI -E people are awesome. P.E.I. French fries. Potatoes. <laughs> yum. Yeah, yum. See that? Just like that. Yum. Can't beat them. Thing is, there's no little known fact about the P.E.I. potatoes, guys. They make the Quebec poutine what it is. But, you know the Quebec poutine would not be as good as it was with the P.E.I. potatoes. That's the thing. P.E.I. Sure. potatoes. Delicious. Yum. Yum. Number four, guys. The Mile Pack Oyster. Let that sink in. <laughs> the mall pack oyster is delicious. You can have it so many different ways. I love the mall pack oyster. You can fry it, steam it, fricassee it, bake it. Raw it. Eat it raw. That's the thing, buddy. And y'all know what they say about them old mall pack oysters, eh? What do they say? <laughs> Everybody knows that there wouldn't be the population on PEI unless there was the mall pack oyster. They make you harder in Chinese algebra. That's a little too deep, Smitty. That's enough. Number three, buddy. Three. This is the thing, and this is a close one right here, guys. We had to go with the man, the myth, and the legend, Stompin' Tom Connors, Stomp is from right here Tom's from PEI. Let's get his phone, guys. Oh, I think Stompin' Tom definitely gets the two stomp salute. <laughs> two stomp salute, buddy. That's for you, Stompin' Tom. Reason number two, guys. The best coach in the NHL, Jared Glant. <laughs> Jared Glant. Let's face it, guys, right from here, PEI, Summerside. Can't beat him. Florida Panthers. What the hell are they thinking? Leaving the best coach in the NHL in the airport. What are you on the bus? Poor fellow's probably out in the runway with the thumb sticking out. He was laughing the whole time, buddy. He knew where he was going. Where'd he go? The Vegas Golden Knights, buddy. Here's the thing. Top team in the NHL right now, guys. <laughs> Jared, you bring that cup to PEI so we can drink some keats out of her. Cool we'll keats out of her, buddy. We'll have a time. That's right. Okay, guys, before we get to the number one position here, we got a few honorable mentions. <laughs> what are they? 
Here's it in, guys. Haywire from BEI. Rockin', rockin'. Rockin' rock on, Haywire. Here's another one I want to mention, too, buddy. And it's very, very, very seldom talked about, but everybody hates it. Andy Green Gables grew up hot. Oh, did she ever? I How could she not? I had this luscious dream the other night. I, I don't had, want to hear it. I hit her by the braids. That's enough. That's enough. Tell them number one. Not yet, buddy. We still have no honorable mention. No, the number one honorable mention. Here's the game, buddy. We just did three, two. Three, two. Are you counting them now or am I counting them? Count away. Okay, guys. Number one honorable mention. We got a big bridge. <laughs> bridge is awesome. It's impressive. Yeah. Check it out. And here she is, guys, the number one reason number why PEI people are awesome and everybody out there should appreciate us. PEI people are hardworking and resourceful people, guys. No matter where we go, we find jobs, we get shit done, we do it. Alberta, China, Jamaica, doesn't matter. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Here's North, your, Northwest Territory. Here's the thing, guys. They're talking about colonizing Mars way up there in space. If they filled that fucking rock with PEI people, we'd colonize her and we'd come back with a full set of stamps. <laughs> Full set. Top old bud. There we go. Here's the thing, guys. If we left anything out, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and share. Steve French. Hey, guys. Sean Fitzgerald. I'm Kevin Smith. And we are Steve, Steve French. French. Go ahead, big guy. Guys, hope everybody enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun <laughs> shooting for you. Uh, kind of a busy day for us. We had an interview with... Uh, LNJ Productions, uh, we uh, trying to get our brand going, her. Not to mention our merchandise. Our merch is flying, guys. <laughs> it's flying. T-shirts are flying off the shelf. Here's the thing, buddy. She's Pre booming. Pretty soon you're going to see it in a town near you. Absolutely. Especially if you live in Bloomfield. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the little humor that we have. Um, Absolutely. Guys, uh, like and share. Pass it around. Uh, don't forget to hit us up on YouTube. Until next time, Steve French. Steve French out.